They were the first to secure their place in the last 16. That was six days ago, last Tuesday. And whatever happens this evening, they will both be in action again in the round of 16 this coming Saturday. But in what configuration, we're about to find out. Tesho Agindale. And Pereira. And uh, an early sighter for the goalkeeper. Shot from Junior Urso carrying no great threat. Akindeli comes in. Well, I think when you're a new coach, take it. Junior Urso. Clicked on by Pereira. This is good from Orlando. And also secure handling by Andre Blake. That's got to be alarming a little bit if you're a Galaxy fan. Well, it is when Guillermo Barros Giloto comes out and publicly criticizes the players afterwards for taking their foot off the gas and effectively not trying in the last half an hour. I actually thought they played reasonably well in the first half. I agree. With limited resources, but then were just swept away. I love this kid, man. Who am? And now Nani. Those two getting a chance to combine down the right. And Akindele. It's a strong save by Blake. City, top of the 18 for Philadelphia. Look at Akindele pull Jack Elliott away. Little touch from Pereira. Big time save from Andre Blake. But I love the little run from Akindele that opened up the channel for him to have this 1v1 in some of his... You know, this is a project for Orlando City and Oscar Pereira that isn't really his just yet. Nice. We'll be looking to avoid the bumps in the road. Useful cross, which demanded intervention from Galese. Dangerous ball whipped in from Montero. It's a good job for the goalkeeper, Galeze, because at times you think that ball is going to be whipped in, but once you leave your line and you're committed to it, you've got to follow it through. Good touch. And he attempts to position the wall correctly from Andre Blake. It's Nani, and it's, let's be kind, disappointing. No real runners in front of Blake to make that difficult whatsoever. Not even quite sure what he was attacking. Wagner. Shibilko and Santos. And Santos has won it back cleanly and Aronson. Oh. Has missed the best chance of the game so far. Fantastic work from Sergio Santos. Play initially started with Shabilko dropping deep into the midfield. Santos running off. Beleze comes up with the initial save, but the reaction here from Santos to finish the play out. And I think Brendan Aronson's a little surprised. He found himself this wide open. It's the initial stop from the goalkeeper nicknamed the octopus but Brendan Aronson with a wonderful opportunity on the second chance goes wide he's got good feet feet he links up Santos up front links up Santos half goals a game under the lights had two goals per match at breakfast time back underway with no substitutions to report at this stage save for the one enforced change made by Orlando early in the game, Junior Urso. Akindele. Mueller. He kept in check by and large, but he's fed Mendes. And this will come to Mueller. And the goalkeeper, Andre Blake, smothering. Yeah, what a good run. This game opens up. Just a great run forward from Mendes. And Blake doing a wonderful job of holding his ground coming off his line. Mendes can see it, he can feel it. Out of the corner of his eye, he stays big, but then stays with the play, stays on his feet, reacts to this one. Where Chris will to a 4 3 3. 
Crival. Mueller. Crival continued his gallop. Proper spirit of adventure. But now you're starting to feel like the momentum's on Orlando City side over the last five to ten minutes here. This is Nanny. And the header is a great one. He saved it. Go back to that set piece. Car Antonio Carlos, this ball's behind Andre Blake. Fantastic save here from Andre Blake just to get a little touch. Then it's off to Crosser's sixth save of the night. But the 2016 MLS goalkeeper of the year has been on point tonight. Absolutely. three-quarter distance in this game and this is Aronson Bedoya and the shot finds the corner and Il Senio takes the applause rifled low across the goalkeeper his third career goal against Orlando who've just had a purple patch of their own and completely against the run of play in this second half great work here from Brendan Aronson but watch what Deutsch brings in the defender clean touch from El Sino, and perfect technique off the inside of the post but that was a little thing that will go understated from Alejandro Bedoya but to draw Moutinho in allows that channel and space to open up and as the target goal post camp shows the Philadelphia Union with a 1-0 lead thanks to Osinho well the talent remains undimmed by the passing years 34 years young in his case the one thing that's really impressed me of Orlando City under Oscar Pereira is their commitment. When the ball gets wide, you've got to be a nuisance inside the 18. That is three legitimate runners with a ball at the corner of the 18. Here, deep line run from Pereira, better ball from Nani, but a difficult task to mark up when those runners are coming out of the midfield. That's been a good business for the Delphi's Norwegian defender. Is coming on after a moment of defensive fallibility for his team. Yeah, it, it's difficult, though. Look, where's Warren Craval? This is the number 10 coming out of the midfield. Moutinho doing a good job with Nani on that side, but that's... Montero. spot here from Montero, but that's an easy save for Galip. Line, John, where the Philadelphia Union bench is, you could hear them screaming. Yeah, it's just late. I wonder if VAR are informally looking at that. They look at everything. Well, here's your stoppage. It's Juan, who was the player concerned. So, as Antonio Carlos cleared it. Oh, whoa. A 
the case is being made by players from Philadelphia. But the referee, I think, has seen enough. 